Hey, it's Paul Vance from GreatDad.com, and I'm here with Aiden. And we are in the kitchen today because we're starting this new series of trying to find easy to make or semi easy to make things for the family. And one of our favorites that's kind of a staple around the house, and we're doing some a series on staples that we make all the time and always have around, is pulled pork. One of your favorites? I love pulled pork. <laughs> <laughs> he loves pulled pork. And this was um, this this recipe was was given to us by our next door neighbors who we had us over when we first came to move into the neighborhood and it's shocking how simple it is. All it is is a pork tenderloin, a root beer, one root beer, and then eventually if you want more flavor, uh, um, barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. So, do you even know how this works? No. No. I don't cook. He just... <laughs> yeah, that's not true. Okay. But, you, and burritos but this and is the kind of thing that Hayden usually just eats and doesn't uh, ask questions later. But what, what we're going to do is we're just going to we're just going to mix basically pork tenderloin, the root beer, and we're going to put it in a pressure cooker for 45 minutes. Another option is to grab that little guy that I just got for uh, my birthday, which is an instant pot, or you can put it in a in a big pan like this and cook it for a, slow cook it for about three hours. But this we find with with the the um, the pressure cooker, you can do it really fast and just get it out of the way, and then just leave it in the refrigerator or freeze it in batches. It's always a crowd pleaser. So this is a beef ten, a pork tenderloin I got at Trader Joe's. It's only four bucks a pound, so this is um, a little. This is about a pound and a half, so about six dollars worth of uh, pork tenderloin. You're just gonna cut that. Open. I just cut this open. And should I crack? You this open open one? that. This, this could not be any easier if I don't spend a lot of time yet. You see, you just open it up, throw the pork tenderloin in, throw the root beer on top of it. Just the whole bottle? Yep, the whole bottle. Yeah. yeah. So what the, 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 the root beer, or you could even use beer if you don't have any uh, root beer. We have made it with beer. Hayden doesn't like it as much with root beer, with beer as with root beer. Beer doesn't have, has a lot of flavor. It doesn't have the same sweetness. So if you like it a little sweeter, the root beer does a good job. It has all the, all the stuff to break down the pork tenderloin and make it really tender. Then when if you if you want to, you can add uh, barbecue sauce, which you you like, right? Yeah. Uh, it's a little spicy. Any kind of quantity, just a little bit, or you can add you know half a bottle if you really like the flavor of barbecue sauce. That's a lot. So we're gonna throw this on the the. Uh, on the stove and let it cook for 45 minutes and come back and show you what it looks like. All right? All right, it's been 45 minutes in the pressure cooker or as we said, three hours in a slow cooker or I don't know how long in a, an instant pot. But we open up the pressure cooker and as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, you've got the liquid, a lot of the liquid from the root beer and then you got a piece of uh, the beef tenderloin that's just, it's cooked and now tender. So the thing now to do, you've never seen it in its established, no. <laughs> in its work in progress state, but you can pull that apart. Just tear it apart? Yeah, you can just tear it apart. So, so it's just, now it's just a simple process of pulling the par pork apart enough to then make the sandwiches out of it. And then, the, then it's just adding as much barbecue sauce as you want. You've got a little bit of, a, of liquid there that'll make it juicy. There are, um, you can also boil that liquid down once you put the, boil, the barbecue sauce on it. And then what we'll do is take a, a Hawaiian roll or Trader Joe's has these, what they call sweet pull apart, sweet pull apart Aloha rolls. And they're really good on that. Some people like to have uh, some cheese on top, which is doable. Or coleslaw. you can do coleslaw. Yeah. So it's a very simple, you know, literally, I don't know, this has been a seven minute video, but the amount of preparation time is, is literally, I don't know, 30 seconds between putting the tenderloin in the pot and the bottle of root beer and then pulling it apart and then adding the sauce and you're ready to go. Like a lot of things that are cooked overnight, this uh, is gonna taste a lot better 
if it sits, sits overnight, I mean, not for things that are made overnight, but things that are cooked a long time like this, it's better if you let it sit overnight. The flavors have a chance to settle a little bit and you already got it going. So let's take a little bit of the, the barbecue sauce. And like I say, you can put a lot in or a little. You know, even even that much is going to give a lot of flavor to that pork. Some people like it. Some people like it tangier or not. Okay. So again, Paul Baines from GreatDad.com. He's Hayden. We'll be eating this uh, for uh, lunch and dinner tomorrow. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.